You looking for somebody? Alex. I might have already left. Didn't you bring an umbrella? Yeah. Mom, thank you for stepping in. It was pro bono. Let's go. Wait, I, I really can't sit in the car the whole ride home without asking what happened between you and Alex. What did he say? Nothing. He won't talk about it. God, this requires closing a door. Maybe I should just walk home. I remember that weekend when your father took you and Melissa to DC. I stayed behind. Yeah. I said I had to work all weekend, but that wasn't the truth. I spent most of Friday drunk. Sunday, I was hungover. Saturday, I don't remember at all. Okay, I think I actually changed my mind. I really I, don't need to It started to know at the this. club Friday morning. It was empty. There wasn't a soul to talk to, so I ordered a sidecar. Then another and another. By the time lunch rolled around, I had walked through a trellis and couldn't find my shoes. It was Alex's first week there. He kindly listened to me spill my guts and later poured me into a cab with my shoes. Why were you spilling your guts to Alex? I had a doctor's appointment before I went there. They removed a lump from my breast. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm powerless. After that, I avoided the club for months. The next time I saw Alex, I made him promise that he would never, ever bring it up. Mom, are you sick? No. Why didn't you and Dad tell us? What makes you think your dad knows? Spencer. Our family doesn't handle imperfection very well. Mom, being sick is not an imperfection. <laughs> Just so you know, I gave up sidecars for spritzers. And by the way, Alex is a lovely kid. He's a keeper. <laughs>